Run! Run! Like the wind! Ice cream! Ice cream in airplanes! Hey there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 12.01 hours on June 18th, 2014 and Batman's loading up the trash truck. So you think you can make this before the next wave of thunderstorms hits? I hope so. It's the wipers suck on this truck. <laughs> <laughs> like suck hard. I'm guessing these Gaylords aren't coming back. Probably not. Well, they had a night in the thunderstorms. So yeah. Well, once they dry, they're pretty good again, actually, surprisingly. Yeah? I've had that a couple times. What's up, Ed? I'm making a break from steering in a computer screen. Yeah? Working hard trying to get the clock done as quick as possible. Good. We're going to have clock kits available soon. This is going to be a thing. I talked to Moose about that this morning. Yeah, she said. He's still not back? <laughs> He's still not back. I don't know. I'm looking. Yeah, I don't see him. <laughs> Kicking it. Watch out for a dude in a vicious attack dog down there. Vicious, vicious attack dog. Do it quick. Do it quick. He's motivated. Tie your shoe. Tie your shoe. We're all going to get moving. We'll be back. Yeah. Pretty sure I'm not going flying today. be in the 300 block of Ionia in about 10 minutes. They fixed that. Well, yeah, I, they told me they fixed that before too.
You get down on the 300 block of Ionia in about 10 minutes, the manhole covers are going to just pop. It's awesome. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a neighborly day for a beauty. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I have always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. I've always wanted to live in a neighborhood with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Rolling. All right, guys, time for viewer mail 13, 23 hours. We got a, oh, we got a thing. What's this? This is from Gizmo Dorks. I am not making that up. It says right there, Gizmo Dorks. At this rate, I'm going to build us a new lab just out of zip ties. It's from Frank Lawler. Thank you, Frank. Thank Guys, we have enough zip ties. We don't have to send any more. It's A gift from Chris Bowden. Okay. So you never run out from Tyler. For when you run out of manly ideas from Tyler Roar. Okay. Fuck yeah. It's the Red Green Collector's Edition. You know what the best thing is to get with the Red Green Collector's Edition? Right there. Have you seen Duct Tape Forever? I have not seen Duct Tape Forever, but I am a deep, passionate fan of Red Green. It's a really good full-length movie of his. Yeah? Yeah. We need to put this, run it on a live stream, add that to the rotation. But there's... <laughs> That's awesome! Thank you, Tyler! That is funny as hell. I, I, I'm tempted to just put this up in the front display case like that. Just everything you need to know about the Geek Group, right there. That's that's the Geek Group with zip ties. Yourself. Thank you, gentlemen. All right, we have like mad severe weather happening here right now. It's really fun, so we're just gonna enjoy the storm and try not to do anything that needs more than 10 seconds to save it between clicks because that's how the power is going right now. Except for Raymond. Ramon. Raise the other guy. He's Ramon. And that's Rocco. Sup, Holmes? Just the brown for a bit. Okay, check this out. We got the red green collector's edition because yep. you're Canadian. Yeah. Got the duct tape. Yeah, perfect. It's everything you need right there. Yeah. I haven't watched Red Green in the 80s. Really? Yeah. You're more of a Trailer Park Boys kind of guy? No, I could never be a Trailer Park Boys. Really? Yeah. I see. I figured you'd be a master of all Canadian culture, which is pretty much Red Green and Trailer, trailer Park Boys. PBS on Saturdays was awesome, because it would be Red so Green, and then it would be British color. comedy. It is impressively dumb. Yeah. I, 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 liked, I liked watching it really can't be Park Boys about once every six months. The nice thing about Red Green is you knew he was a lot more than he was with all that. Yeah, Trailer Park Boys, you're not so sure. Exactly. <laughs> But from what I hear, they're pretty accurate for newfies. Hi to all our members in Newfoundland. I would like to state for a fact that I have actually met Red Newfie. Really? Yes. One. One. There you go. <laughs> this is this is the place that gave us. I swear to God, this exists. You can look it up. Newfie Screech. Yes. Which also works great as lawnmower fuel. <laughs> but yeah. I've been to that oh. side. Of, I've been to that side of my, uh, my country. So yeah. 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 Newfie Screech. That's what I gotta get you for your birthday. Newfie Screech. 
Okay. It's a brand this of sounds butter. like yeah, this sounds it's, like it's a type of like butter. Or it's some it's kind of spin off It's the Canadian equivalent to Mad Dog 2020 pretty much. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's kind of like that. It's it's <laughs> bad. Okay. It's it's pretty much goo gone by the fifth is I think what it's made of. Might be some kind of fish oil in there cuz Newfoundland. There's a price. No, but there's nine. There's nine? Nine. There's no, who sends 900? Why would you do that? Just to mess with you. There's nine. Did I? No? Confused. But nine has more integer factors than ten, so it's clearly a better number. Three is the magic. Three by three? I can support this with data. I, I can cite sources. And three is indeed the magic number. We'll be back. Wait, wait. We might, we might not. Depends on the weather. But I uh, sent out sex bolts today. Radio's on? Yep. Hey, look, see, it says record. Yep. It says radium. Left is left, right is right. Okay, pre-flight checks out good. All right, you ready? <laughs> Yours is so much more graceful. And very big, very slow. The difference is, his is a mildly aerobatic little trainer, and mine's a sailplane. Here's the trade off. You want to see something cool? Hey, Jerry, yeah. get as high as you can. Oh, tree. Tree, tree. <laughs> Lost direction for a second. Chris is up here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Motor off now. I'm not as high as I can. See what you mean on drops like lead. So you're not under power right now? I'm not at all under power right now. If you listen closely, you hear it if the motor comes on. You listening? Motor's off
mosquitoes are out. Autofocus hates the sky. I'm liking grass a lot better. Yeah, isn't grass fine? This is fun to fly like a regular airplane and not just a sailplane. Yes. First battery. Eight mosquito. Hey, a frisbee. I have flown through one entire battery on the radio for the first time. Little fucker. <laughs> Who wants ice cream? I'll take some ice cream. Who wants ice cream? Stop him. Quick, why don't you stop the ice cream? Run! Run! Like the wind! Ice cream! Ice cream in airplanes! Hello?
What about Geo, man? I haven't seen that in a long time. Um, who wants what? I just want a popsicle, a cherry one. A cherry popsicle. Okay. Yeah. Simply vanilla. Ice cream sandwich. Anything you want, kids. I'm gonna go SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see if it comes out of the package looking like I'm that. I'm not so sure it will. It really does. <laughs> I'm divided between SpongeBob and Hello Kitty. <laughs> now I come over here, I get the fucking mosquitoes. I go out there, I get the fish me up. Just very angry. 
His job requires two things. You order off the picture and you make change. This isn't hard. I gotta wonder how many little kids who also can't do fucking math are getting taken by the ice cream man. That's a weird phrasing. We'll be back. We're gonna eat ice cream. <laughs> that, that, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Chris Boone shucking on a pop. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I don't even know where to take that. Go fuck yourself. That's all I got right there. Just, it's really it's, it's simple. It's, it's clear. We got the fog rolling in. This is fun. Yeah. Five-year-old kid somewhere doing loop-to-loops with his plane while going to pop. Oh fuck yeah! Somewhere there's a five-year-old kid who can like oh ducks. Five knows or he's. There's a five-year-old kid who can do like mad 3D with an 800 class T-Rex with one hand while eating popsicle. For some reason, I sensed a little ADD in there. Talking all of a sudden, duck! <laughs> oh, those were geese. Geese are dicks. Yeah. Ducks are nice, geese are dicks, and swans are fucking vicious. Everybody reads a storybook and thinks that swans are beautiful, angelic creatures. And they're fucking mean! Like, geese are just assholes. Geese are <laughs> ubiquitously dicks. And swans are vicious sons of bitches. <laughs> like, I live in Kazoo for 10 years, so there's like geese everywhere. The like, geese are the, the rats of Kalamazoo. That's a bat. <laughs> That's a bat. <laughs> Which is good, you need to come Squirrel. down here. I need that fucking bat down here to eat the goddamn mosquitoes. <laughs> See? It's hard to like, smack them to try to pick them off and get caught in my neck here. It's a fucking screamer. It's terrible. You should be damn near immune to mosquitoes. They can't get through the fur. Now, ticks, on the other hand, you might have some issues. Now here's your lesson for the day. What is the difference between civil twilight and astronomical twilight? There's a difference, it matters. Should this be a uh, sex bolt this question? Is a contest, yeah. yeah. There should be a sex bolt contest. Yeah. Is one of them Team Edward? Now I'm caught in a difficult position. Because <laughs> I'm not 100% what the fuck you're talking about, but I think, and I don't know why I think this, but I think it's a Twilight reference. It yes. is. Then you're a fact. <laughs> I have never seen Twilight and even I get the reference. Hang on. Neither have I. I'm going to go to independent counsel on this and consult our resident homosexual. <laughs> is he indeed a fag for the Twilight reference? No, no self-respecting fag. Would just, no? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I so that. you fail at peg. Yeah. Really? See, I thought Ti Twilight was totally a gay movie. Because. Well, if only here's gay guys what I teenage learned. girls. Vampires are, you know, Bram Stoker vampires. Twilight comes out, and you got dudes flying around the woods that sparkle and dress really nice. I'm pretty sure that's not a vampire, that's a fairy. So I thought, you know, you just have some insight into this. That's my homosexual fairy joke there. That's your contextual <laughs> comedy. See that? Kind of going in the ear now. Quit breathing.
It's what attracts mosquitoes. The carbon dioxide in your breath attracts mosquitoes. Really. Look it up. Ask the internet. The internet will tell you. Mosquitoes are attracted to carbon dioxide. I know, but that's not very... If it is and true, in your it's sense, not very good. To <laughs> you smell really nice. It might be your Axe body spray. <laughs> Are you looking for a new sponsor? Just name dropped Axe. You're wearing fucking ramen. It's true. I'm sure a dish can't be a sponsor. And I was going with the rom with the with the ex body spray thing because he's gay. Oh, because we were on the topic of making okay. fun of, of gay references. Gotcha. So I dropped the ex. Ex is very gay. <laughs> Though oddly enough, not among actual homosexuals, it's just faggy. Ex doesn't make you gay; it makes you a fag. <laughs> You're not bound. You're not bound. Nope. If the light's blinking, it means you're about to lawn dart your airplane. There you go. Guess how I learned that one. <laughs> <laughs> when I, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> Here's the thing you need to know. When you first put the battery in, this is on first, right? Mm -hmm. You put the battery in. You have to make sure the throttle goes all the way down. Yeah. Because if the throttle's halfway up and you put the battery in, the motors won't spin up because it's a safety thing. But it won't fucking fly until you bring that throttle all the way down and then back up. Right. It's a it's a safety thing. It keeps you from eating your hand. <laughs> what? Circle around. Look at your landing gear. <laughs> See it? Yeah. Your right leg's hanging lower than your left. Let's bring you back home before. <laughs> no, you'll be fine. I don't want to fall out. Fall out and me spinning the next. I don't think it'll fall out. No, it's in there. Okay. There, ready? Wind it up. Now I'm going to teach you a couple things. You know how to do this. Yeah. Okay, then there's this one too. You, you can launch it on angle. That wasn't very good, but I should point out that's the first time I've ever done that. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> I figured I'd try it on your plane. Turns out it works. Tree, 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 tree. Wow, you suck at this. I got fucking bugs. Maybe you should stick with bugging cars. Me. Maybe, maybe cars are for you. Yeah, bugs bugging you? Buzzing. Ooh, <laughs> I know. Boats. Oh, it's revving. Two mistakes high. Two mistakes high. Two mistakes high. I'm not sure if you can get one mistake high. <laughs> <coughs> What's your problem? The uh, motor started revving. Yeah, it's called throttle. <laughs> Battery's low. Yeah? Yeah. That's that's how you know. Mine doesn't do that. That's how you know before the battery dies. I've never had mine in the air long enough to kill a battery. I'm eating my damn popsicle. I paid ten bucks for it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. That was mighty. It's mighty <laughs> nice of you, Chris. I was thinking that. I was thinking that, but I couldn't say anything because I really didn't know how much English he knew. So I was just like, I'm sitting there. I'm thinking, carry the one. <laughs> Divided by 11. <laughs> you worked eight hours today. Jesus, that's fast. I'm thinking picking up garbage is better than delivering ice cream. That. Okay, so you mind hanging on to that? Yep. <laughs> That's 
it's actually getting kind of hard to see. How's your popsicle? They're great. Very purple. Worth the ten dollars? <laughs> totally. You're still pop purple. The good news is I can see Venus, the bad news is I can't see my plane. It's up there somewhere. Yeah, I got it. Mosquitoes. Tons and tons of mosquitoes. It's okay, Chris. If you lose it, just put on the air brakes and it'll slowly glide down. It does not work that way. For one, I don't have air brakes. Because this plane does not have pro. But if I stay really low, I can see it really well. I might smack into Casey, but he's rugged. I'm durable. It's like one of those airplanes on a string. God, that's cool as hell, actually. I want to see how low I can... No, that's how low I can fly. <laughs> I want to see how low I can... Yeah. Hold the bear! Oh, shit. <laughs> I totally got that on it. Plug as well. That was your vertical takeoff. Did you see that? Wow, that thing specks out like nothing. It's 50 feet away and you lose it. Fuck on my nose, fuck on my nose! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Did that plane just buzz me again? Yeah, a little bit. Might have been a mosquito. Uh, you don't have a bat chasing your plane. I know, it's really <laughs> cool. Awesome. It gets really cool when I turn the motor off because the bat doesn't know what the fuck that giant thing is. Yeah, fucking A. You're making me dizzy, Chris. <laughs> I'm putting this thing through its paces. I want to see what it'll do. See what it takes to break a wing off in there? <laughs> that bat's getting... Oh, it's his plane. <laughs> I'm like, that bat's really close. <laughs> I 
this is really hard to do when you're flying IFR. <laughs> Define IFR. Instrument flight rules. It means you can't see anything. Yep. Fuck. Nose dive! I lost the plane. It's like I know where it is, but I couldn't tell my orientation or anything. So I'm like, I'm just gonna hang in there and see what happens. Flight check. Up is up, down is down, left is left, right is right. Battery's hanging. Hold that a second. Don't touch anything. Well, how can I not touch anything? I got if my I'm hand holding in it. here, so don't don't hit any levers. It's like hell tomorrow, but you can take it. Problem is, I'm just chucking the scooters and you just get stuck with us too. It's so humid right now, my own breath is fogging up my glass. Flying that thing like it's a fighter jet. It's incredibly aerobatic for a sailplane. This thing hauls ass. I'm really impressed with it. And it likes dense, wet air. <laughs> <laughs> also likes Jared. That was under power nosedive no, there. It's not under, yeah, that was under power. Like, it's not under power. That was. Under power nosedive. That, that was just me. It was a battery again. <laughs> that's a good thing. It loses a battery, and, and that's a happy thing. Now, watch this. Here's your vertical takeoff. You ready? Can you make it hover like a helicopter? No, the prop's angled. See that uh, Red Bull stunt plane pilot that actually made a made his plane hover like a helicopter? Oh yeah, you can up. do it, but you got to have the right plane for it. Not every plane can do that, and certainly not every pilot. And I am not a very good pilot. As you can tell, given that I've lawn darted the plane three times. Well, two, but... Two? Yeah. If it wasn't for the light, these would be almost impossible to see. Oh yeah. Especially at the speed I'm flying. Yeah, mine started picking up a little bit of speed, got a little bit high, and I'm just like, oh, I can't see it anymore. Yeah. And just for reference, it's 2210 hours. It's really that late? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey, it sounds like Jerry's battery is dead again. Hey, Jerry. Yeah. You know why my battery is so cool right now? Wow. Oh shit. <laughs> wow, I just got owned by my plane. <laughs> Shut up, I hear you. <laughs> I'm trying to land, bitch. <laughs> nice, soft sailplane landing. All the parts are there. Gyros work. Motor works. Left is left, right is right. Up and down. And I have all the parts I came here with. Half a pint less blood, but I got all the parts I came here with. <laughs>
Nice flyer! And we got popsicles. Yep. We got ice cream and airplanes, man. That's a good goddamn deal. I think your other one's still. All right, so uh, I flew my radiant through two batteries. It still works, it's still intact, and I'm coming back with all the pieces. I count this as a success. And you're coming back with all your parts. You flew through two batteries, right? Yeah. You're through both? Okay, so we both did two full batteries. It's a good day. That's a captain's blog. I don't know how much of this you could see, because it's dark as hell out here now. Yeah, the camera can't even see that there's a face there. Really? Yeah. Okay. Can you see me at all? Like, I don't know how good the low light is on it. It's horrible. All right. So... Night flying, tonight's captain's blog. I don't know if you can see any of this. This might be pretty much a podcast at this point. But, uh, yeah, it's a good day. You guys have fun. See you tomorrow. Chris, shall I throw away your other popsicle? Yeah.